Rick Wershey is finally in Florida to serve the rest of his time behind bars. And as that chapter begins, we're hearing from the judge who examined every file in the case and thought something just didn't add up. Kevin Dietz has this Defenders exclusive. She was the judge in charge of the white boy Rick case and immediately recognized a great injustice. Tonight, for the first time ever, Judge Dana Hathaway is sharing her story. The county winner is now in session. The Honorable Dana Margaret Hathaway presiding. It was a move that had the whole country watching. Judge Dana Hathaway calls Rick Wershe Jr. into a public courtroom. The media getting its first glimpse of the teenage drug dealer once known as white boy Rick in decades. He's entitled to be resentenced with consideration given to his youth and the circumstances surrounding the crime. The judge was going to throw out Wershey's life sentence for dealing drugs as a 17 year old and resentence him. But prosecutor Kim Worthy objected to the Court of Appeals and won. Wershey stayed in prison another two years waiting for a chance at parole. Since then, I've gotten pregnant, had my third child. Third child has had a first birthday. It's a, a, while someone else sits in jail for uh, a crime they committed as a juvenile. Judge Hathaway calls the Worshi case a tragedy. It was beyond ridiculous that a juvenile defendant would get such an insane sentence. Saying at nearly every turn, the Worshi case was mishandled. It was just rife with injustice. From the parole board hearings to his original sentence to all the changes in the juvenile lifer laws that had happened across this country. I asked her if she thought it was a conspiracy to keep Worshi locked up all these years. I can't speculate as to what was actually going on, but it just seems really fishy, the whole thing. She says she never heard of the controversial case until it landed on her desk. She asked a colleague about it and found out her own grandfather was right in the middle of it all back in 1987 as a Wayne County judge. I asked them, have you ever heard of this uh, person the media used to refer to as White Boy Rick? And they said, oh yeah, you know, your, your grandfather called him worse than a mass murderer and gave him a million dollar bond. And I was like, oh, okay, well, that's the guy that I'm decided to resentence. Judge Hathaway says that doesn't change her opinion, insisting Worshi should have been released early for helping police catch dirty cops from behind bars. He was helping the government. I mean, that's been verified by affidavit after affidavit. Instead, he became the longest serving nonviolent juvenile in Michigan history. She's the first one that's had the backbone to say it, and she's the first one not to care what other people thought. And, and I have tremendous respect for her for that. By phone, Rick Worshi thanked the judge for her efforts and courage to speak out. He has left Michigan and just arrived in Florida where he's in prison and must serve time for his part in a stolen car ring 11 years ago, a crime committed from behind bars. I'm not saying he should have committed a crime. Why wouldn't he? What has he got to lose? If he thinks he's going to be in there for the rest of his life. Where she thought he would die in a Michigan prison. Now that the Michigan life sentence is over, he knows freedom is coming. I'm great. I'm, I'm out of Michigan, so every day I'm one step closer to freedom. The biggest asset we have is time and every day it doesn't go back in the bank the next day <laughs> you use what you have that day and never returns so it's 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 sad i feel bad for him the state of florida just updated rick worshi's file his current release date is april 20th 2021 of course he can apply for early release and get credit for good time kevin deets defenders just don't get remarks like that from a judge it's true case following it yep